Welcome back to my channel, YouTubers. So, um, on the CAG 49cc air cleaner, these things are cheap Chinese and they don't seal very good. So what I did is I put a little ring of grease around this edge, right, to help seal that. And you don't tighten that up very strong because it'll just strip out and it'll warp very badly and not seal anymore. So it's what you want to do is you want to just put a little ring of grease in there to help seal it. And then, like I say, you don't tighten this up very much. Just run it down so it makes good contact. And that's about all. That's about all. So that's all you need is contact. Keep the keep keep that seal good without breaking this, stripping this, or anything. Now, this you might have noticed sits there when these run, this thing just keeps spinning. Well, how can that be sealing if that's spinning? So I you take this apart, you put some grease around that, and then you put some rubber bands in there. Rubber bands in there with the grease. Now this doesn't spin anymore. That's a seal. That's a good seal now. And you just pop that bad boy on, and then you can tighten it up. Doesn't have to be very tight because that's a good rubber seal. You know that you are actually getting some good rubber to rubber seal there, so it doesn't have to be very tight. Just to keep it on there. Boom, you're done. You're on. Just keep this, uh, this filter media can be run dry. But it's best if it runs, um, if you've soaked it in a little oil to keep it moist. Okay? Big tip Tuesday for you. While we're here, I can go ahead and explain some more about the carburetor. I, like I said, this is, this, this is blocked off. I no longer use the factory um, gas shutoff valve here. I put a shutoff valve right underneath my gas tank. It's a 90 degree shutoff valve, gas capable vinyl see-through so I can see the color of the gas, a 90 degree filter down to the carburetor straight through to your, uh, straight through to your float bowl. So that's the way I have my system rigged. Okay, ciao.